Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm Damon Campbell here Hi. at 20 Mineral Live in Grand Rapids, Michigan, with a very special guest. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hey, people, what's going on? My name is Jimmy Allen. Great to meet you, man. <laughs> I almost forgot for a second. <laughs> right. <laughs> Definitely appreciate your time. Oh, man, it's all good, brother. Uh, now, with the success of Best Shot in particular, you've sort of been hurled into the country music spotlight, which is well-deserved and slightly ironic, considering people used to throw up on your boots when you'd perform. Oh, yeah, man. Like, so I, I first moved to Nashville. I, I did the Broadway circuit. Like, okay. you play on Broadway and stuff like that. And, you know, people get drunk at, like, 11 a.m. <laughs> right. Uh, noon. So, they, people are drunk. Dude. Like, they throw up on stage. I mean, one time I was performing, uh, this girl, poor thing, she was just so intoxicated. Yeah. How people say under the weather, I say under the alcohol. Okay. Uh, she was feeling a little under the alcohol, and she went to throw up, and she just threw up forward, and oh it was God. on the stage, so yeah. it got on my boots and my guitar player's boots, oh and God. yeah, man, so. Uh, I'm yeah. guessing there's not a whole lot that grosses you out, though, since you also spent some time working as a middle school janitor. Oh, yeah, man, nah, dude, not at all. I'm like, you know, it's all about, you know, you're chasing a dream, you know, wh whatever job you need to work uh, to keep bills paid, that's just what you got to do. Totally. You know, so. I understand your kindergarten teacher, Miss Alexander, deserves some credit for your musical endeavors. She like, she likes to say that. <laughs> 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 nah, man, you know, just uh, as a kid uh, uh, in, in elementary school, we, you know, we did, you know, music, we did art. Uh, she used to have a singing class, stuff like that. Okay. So that yeah, was awesome, man. Shout out to Miss Alexander. Oh, uh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, she was even in attendance for your Grand Ole Opry debut, which uh, also happened to be the 25th anniversary of Charlie Pride's Opry membership. Yeah, man, she was there. Uh, she came up. Uh, some friends, uh, some friends of hers came up. I had some family come up, man. So it was a, it was a big night, you know, to get a chance to to play the Opry for the first time, man. Yeah. It, was, uh, it was it was super awesome. Of course. Oh, yeah. Uh, I understand Charlie had uh, encouraged you to continue to be true to who you are, and you yourself have even been quoted as saying that people are craving authenticity in a world full of people afraid to be themselves. Can you elaborate? Oh, for sure, man. It's just, um, you know, uh, uh, for some reason, uh, you know, society has propelled this thought of uh, 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 cloning. You know what I mean? And not cloning as far as, like, people, but cloning as far as, like, your interest, uh, your style of dress, uh, the music you listen to, um, you know, what you watch on TV, you know, instead of people, you know, kind of having the courage to kind of just do what they want, yeah. you know, people always seek approval, sure. you know, hence, you know, social media has created that, you know, p I've seen people literally post something on Instagram and then delete it if it doesn't get enough likes and repost it right. later. Like that right there is just people seeking validation instead of being confident in who they are. You know, and I'm like, be yourself. You yeah. know, if people don't like you, eh, who cares? Right. You know, you're supposed to do what you do because you like it, and the people that don't you know, like and have common interests will kind of rally around you. So. Yeah. And you're a firm believer that those interests shouldn't be dictated by race? Man, no, it shouldn't be dictated by anything. You know, race, gender, yeah. uh, economic background, uh, geographically where you live. Like, nothing should dictate anything. Totally. Yeah. Uh, speaking of races, you bumped into another gentleman breaking down racial stereotypes, NASCAR's Bubba Wallace. Yeah, man, I ran into Bubba, man. Bubba's cool. Uh, uh, we, we did a show in Delaware at, uh, where were we? Hey, Tate, where were we? Uh, Dover, most There it is. We were in Dover, okay. Delaware. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How <laughs> was that? It was fun, man. I'm from Delaware, so it was cool to do that. And Got a chance to meet Bubba, man. He's super cool. Yeah. Real cool guy, man. And, uh, oh, yeah. of course, NASCAR is all about speed, whereas you're here repping the slower, lower in Delaware. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, we're also in a band called Color of London. Yeah, man. I did that for a little bit. I uh, was in another band called Mercury Lane. Uh, was in another band Water called... Waterglass as well? Huh? Waterglass as well? Was that Waterglass? No, nah, I was in a band called Just Just Because It's Wednesday. Oh, okay. We're like an emo, emo rock band. Man. Okay. Yeah, man. It was fun. Where did uh, the London come into the picture? We just like the name. Oh, okay. Yeah, like when we, you know, when you pick band names, typically you just like what it stands yeah. for. You just like the name. Like just because it's Wednesday, like we were, we formed a band on a Wednesday. <laughs> right. And just because it was Simple Wednesday. Yeah, just, yeah, man, <laughs> right. just straight to the point, yeah. bro. Oh, yeah, man. Well, uh, your solo career seems to be going swimmingly. And speaking of across the pond, growing up, would you ever visit Killen's Pond? Yeah, man. What do you know about Killen's Pond, bro? <laughs> what can you tell us about What do you Killen's know about Killen's Pond, <laughs> man? Uh, I went to Killen's Pond once or twice. Uh, maybe three or four times. I can't remember. Okay. Uh, but it was like this little state park in Delaware. Uh, they had like a pool, and 
you can go camping there and stuff like that yeah. so it's cool stuff man and uh nowadays disney world is often your destination of choice and uh it may not have been mickey or minnie but did you really have a pet mouse at one point yeah <laughs> man uh i i, I love disney by the way <laughs> you know uh when i was living in my trailer for a little while you know there's this mouse that kind of found him so okay. himself into my closet so yeah I just send a block to man and fed him for a while. I had him for like two weeks. Okay. Yeah, Did you man. have a name for it at all? No. Nah. Okay. No, nah, no, nah, man. <laughs> uh, so it sounds like you have a big heart, but perhaps a delicate one as well, because is it true that you actually suffered a heart attack once? Oh, uh, yeah, when I was like 20, 21. Yeah. Any particular, like, it just runs in the family? or um, Just family stuff. Uh, just a lot of things in, in life I was going through at the time. Uh, just kind of. All kind of came together, and yeah. that happened. So yeah, I'm glad you're okay, man. Yeah, man. Uh, oh is yeah. There, is there anything else you'd like people to know about Jimmy Allen? Oh, uh, that's a good question. Oh, <laughs> uh, I like food. French toast, my okay. favorite food, man. Do you French really get toast. like? Uh, are they? Is it scrapple or scrapple? You get you get them mailed to you? Yeah, bro. <laughs> I get people freeze it and they send it to me, like, because they don't have scrapple in Nashville, which okay. is weird. P- places and states that don't have Scrapple, I think it's pretty weird. <laughs> Y'all got Scrapple up here? Uh, I got weird. Of it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, man. Okay. It's, uh, it's like, it's basically like whatever's left of the pig or the cow. Okay. They kind of put it in this bag together and mix it all up. And they turn it into like some loaf looking thing. Okay. And you fry it and like the outside is fried. <laughs> yeah. and the inside is like, um, uh, 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 like mushy. Yeah. It's pretty good. I'll have to yeah. give it a shot sometime. Dude, get you some, bro. <laughs> change your life, man. I'm right. telling you. Change your life. Bro. Well, thank you so much for Dude, your time, man. No it was problem, great chatting man. with you. Great chatting to you, man. You be safe. You'll have a good day out there, man. Drink more whiskey. There you have it. Once again, I'm Damon Campbell, and this is Jimmy Allen. Thanks for watching.